are taking advantage of trails and open spaces, which is allowed during the governor's stay at home order. Now officials want to make sure people are being safe so these places can stay open throughout the pandemic. Here's News 13's Brady Wakayama. Brady. Jackie Albuquerque Police and the city's Open Space Division are now cracking down on people who aren't following the rules about social distancing and parking in these popular areas. They're seeing this as an opportunity to take care of their overall well-being, uh, especially as folks are kind of going stir crazy inside of their homes and really needing opportunities for getting their recreation. Starting today at various trailheads and parks, you'll see open space staff and volunteers making sure people are staying six feet away from each other and not gathering in groups larger than five. Park officials say in the last couple of weeks, the numbers of visitors to these places is comparable to the busy summer months. They don't plan on handing out citations, but if there are too many visitors, they'll tell people to take other trails or come back at a less busy time. People at the Bosque say they're on board for more enforcement if it can help prevent the spread of the virus. I think enforcement's good because you still need safety. You know, I mean, there's always risk. This is Albuquerque. There's always risk for safety. But I don't think if they, it's fine if they give a warning to say, hey, you shouldn't be clustered together. I think that's perfectly fine. Park officials say they plan to have one employee or volunteer at the most popular parks and trails every day until the order is lifted. And the Open Space Division is also teaming up with APD to monitor parking lots and streets near the trailheads. Officials warn that illegally parked vehicles may be sighted or towed. Jackie, back to you. Okay, thanks Brady. Officials say the hours of operation for parks and trails will not change tomorrow for Easter.